All right, next up we have Jinx. All right, we're going to be taking a look at some interesting facts about Jinx. So for Jinx's information, her weight is 40.6 kilograms, her height is 1.4 meters, she is an ice type and a psychic type, her abilities are oblivious or forewarm and dry skin, which is her hidden ability. Her catch rate is 45, which is also 11.9%. It evolves from Smoochum starting at level 30. And for her entry, Jinx walks rhythmically, swaying and shaking its hips as if it were dancing. Its motions are so bouncingly alluring, people seeing it are compelled to shake their hips without giving any thought to what they are doing. While it looks like Jinx's moves are pretty terrifying. Now when it comes to Jinx being in the TV series, she's made four major appearances. So multiple Jinx debuted in Holiday High Jinx, where they were workers at Santa Claus's workshop. One of Santa's Jinx got lost, requiring Ash and his friends to help her return to her owner. So it looks like they were trying to get the Jinx back home. And a Jinx appeared in the Mandarin Island Mismatch under the ownership of Prima. She used it to send Team Rocket blasting off. While it looks like the Jinx was pretty powerful, and a Jinx appeared in the band episode, episode 250 under the ownership of Nurse Joy, Brock almost kissed the human-shaped Pokemon during his sickly state. Well, it looks pretty funny as to that Brock almost kissed the uh, Jinx. And a Jinx appeared in Mean with Envy and Pacificog Jam under the ownership of Erica. She used it during the Pacificog Town Pokemon Contest. This also marked Jinx's first anime appearance in her purple redesign. So it's pretty great that they uh, redesigned Jinx, even though the black design was pretty terrifying. Alright, so here is Jinx's shiny form. So basically for her shiny form, her dress turns a little bit, uh, a lighter shade of red. So it looks uh, like a pretty noticeable shiny, but it's probably better than Smoochum shiny because Smoochum shiny barely changes at all. But here is the QR code if you ever want to register her into Pokemon Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Oh, and here are some other facts that you didn't know about Jinx, is that as its Pokedex entries state that Jinx speaks an incomprehensible language, the player as a Pokemon cannot understand anything it says in the Mystery Dungeon series. So that's pretty weird that you aren't able to understand what Jinx says in the Mystery Dungeon series. And a Capsule Monsters concept sketch depicts an unused Pokemon design with the same Pokedex number as Jinx. So it looks like they were trying to uh, design Jinx, but I am grateful that they redesigned this and made Jinx look pretty cool. And Jinx has the longest cry of any Pokemon, lasting 2.238 seconds. So it might be longer than Hypno. <laughs> And Jinx's sprite in the virtual console re-release of, po uh, of Pokemon Yellow seems to use five colors instead of four, a technical impossibility for a Game Boy Color game. And to achieve this effect, some of the 8x8 tiles composing the sprite used an alternate palette where black is replaced with purple. So it's pretty cool that Jinx's uh, says black person has been replaced with purple. Which is a pretty nice change, it's better than the terrifying design with the black uh, shade, but at least Jinx is a cool Pokemon after all. Way to go, Jinx! And there you guys have it. Those are some interesting facts for the whole Jinx evolution line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell for notifications, check out my gaming videos, and also, don't forget to check out Pokemon Plush Toy videos, Super Mario Plush Adventures, Kirby Plush Adventures, and Sonic Plush Adventures. And request me some more videos that you would like to see in the future. So, see you guys next time. Bye! Jinx! Looks like I'm terrifying!
with my dance moves. Ooh.